Hey guys, today I'm talking about the new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Base. This is a primer for mascara. So basically you just put this on one coat, let it dry before you put mascara on and it's supposed to enhance your mascara. It's supposed to add volume and it's supposed to condition your lashes with oils. So this is the shade 250 Millennial Pink. I don't think there's any other shades. I'm pretty sure this is the only one. It is a very, very, very light pink color. So your lashes look a little crazy when you're wearing just this. But of course that goes away once you put the mascara on. So the wand looks the exact same as the Lash Paradise, which you would expect. The packaging also very, very similar to the Lash Paradise. It says there's a conditioning rose oil in the formula to help the mascara adhere to the lashes. I'm assuming that's why my lashes still look really black when I use this primer, because I've heard people complain that their lashes can look gray when they have a lighter primer. So I got this from London Drugs, approximately $13 in Canada. Um, depending on where you go, it's gonna be different. And I did some research for the States as well, and it's around nine US dollars. Again, depending where you go. So now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna show you the application. I'm gonna summarize my thoughts and I'll show you how it wears throughout the day. So I've tried this a bunch of times already with a bunch of different mascaras, with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, with CoverGirl, the Flourish Mascara, Lancome Monsieur Big, the Dior Show Mascara. Today I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara because that's just what I've been liking lately. So here's a close-up of my lashes beforehand with nothing on them. Excuse my face makeup, I was at work all day. It's just a little bit, a little bit stale. So I'm just going to apply one coat to each eye, let it dry completely and then put the mascara on. I've tried to do two coats before, it gets really messy really fast and it doesn't say that you have to do more than one coat so I'm just gonna stick with one. It does have a scent too, like as soon as I open it, I can smell it. It reminds me of a florally, powdery, old lady-ish scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not its not bad, but it's just, just kind of floral and powdery. So I'm just going to apply one coat to this eye here. So I really hope you can see that, but it automatically gives quite a bit of length. It also clumps my lashes together a bit more than I would prefer. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm going to apply a coat to this side as well, and then I'll move on to the mascara. I should also add, once the primer's on my eyelashes, there's no scent, I can't smell it at all. It's just the tube itself that has the scent. Okay, so here's both eyes, looking crazy with just the primer on. Okay, I think these are both dry now. So I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and I'm gonna apply one coat to this eye here. So here's one coat with the mascara on. I'll insert a clip of me wearing this mascara with two coats without the primer so you can just see how it compares in a minute here. But just from my personal experience, this added a bit more length than the mascara would with one coat on its own. So this is just one coat on each side with the mascara. And I notice it gives me actually quite a bit of extra length, but not much extra volume. And that's kind of what it's like advertising the most is voluptuous volume. They don't really talk about length on the packaging uh, at all, honestly. But for me, that's what I notice it gives me the most. So now I'm gonna go in with a second coat on this eye and I'll show you a comparison. So this is two coats of the mascara with the primer. I'll insert a clip of me wearing the same mascara without the primer also with two coats so you can just see how it compares. I definitely notice more length here, not so much volume, but it does kind of just clump my lashes together instead. I also find with this primer, it can kind of ball up on the ends. My lashes don't really look nice and tapered and thinned out at the ends. They pretty much all just look one length and kind of spidery. So I haven't noticed much of a change with the primer as far as wear time goes and smudging and flaking and that, I feel like that's pretty much all on the mascara. I don't find the primer helps or hinders any of that. I'll still check in later though, just so you can see how it holds up. 
I have also noticed with this primer that it helps my lashes be more lifted initially and also stay more lifted throughout the day. So that I really love. You will also notice that my lashes don't look gray. They still look nice and black. I feel like that might depend on the mascara that you're using, but with all the mascaras that I've used so far, I haven't noticed them be any less black. So it's been six and a bit hours and I just wanted to show you how lifted my lashes still are. That's pretty good. It looks pretty much the same as when I first applied it. Usually my lashes will more or less kind of like droop down throughout the day and I push them up. Um, but this combination, I don't even have to do that. And no flaking or smudging, but that's pretty much how the Kush mascara usually is for me anyways. So not bad. So now I will give a summary of my thoughts. I don't think that it provides volume so much as it just kind of groups my lashes together, making them look thicker that way, but then it looks like there's kind of less lashes, which I'm not necessarily a fan of, but I mean, that's kind of a personal preference thing, I think. It definitely provides a bit of extra length, which I like. It also helps my lashes be more lifted throughout the day, which is a positive. My lashes don't look gray. However, it can tend to ball up on the end and make my lashes look less tapered than I would like. As far as wear time goes and smudging and flaking, I don't think it affects any of that. At least I haven't noticed that yet with any mascara that I've used. Overall, I don't think I would purchase this again. I'll maybe use it a bit more. Um, I just don't think, like there is length, that's good. I like extra length, but it's kind of offset by the clumping together and the balled up ends of my lashes. So for me personally, not worth it. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.